So, my favorite set of all time in Magic the Gathering, and a set that I have more cards of in than most sets combined, is Mirage. I own probably the biggest Mirage collection that I know of. And I thought Mirage was really cool. It was a set in Africa. Uh, I've actually gone to Africa with NYU, and it was a great trip. We went to do some school work, help some local schools, look at artwork, and so on. I had a fantastic time. Uh, we went to Accra, Ghana. But when they made Aragon black, that was surprising to me. I think it was surprising to a lot of people. And I was like, you know, Wizards of the Coast isn't really that brave of a company. They're kind of a... You know, I mean, honestly, they're very untalented individuals at Wizards of the Coast. They've a lot of... And you might be like, oh, I don't agree with... No, they've been laid off. So if they were, were positive return on investment, they wouldn't be laid off. That's just how companies are. Um, companies are never going to lay off somebody who is bringing money or is very creative. Now, in terms of what's happening with the Sweet Baby Inc., it's blowing up in their face. So Wizard of Coast hires this consulting agency to give suggestions on representation, minority representation. Now, some of the, at least one employee, if not two employees, um, their tweets are public and they love just cancel culture and you know, they are very racist themselves. It's possible, actually, and I'll just say it. I'm, I'm an Asian male. It's possible to be racist against white people. It is possible. Um, it certainly is possible, you know, and um, I'll take one example. If you, you are in China and you're white, they're probably going to be racist to you because they don't see white people all that often, right? So in that scenario, it's a very extreme scenario, but it is also possible if you're Chinese and America to be racist against white people, right? By saying some of the things that were said, it does sound like this individual is a racist against white people. And that is something that shouldn't be the hate. And, you know, like, I think at the end of the day, um, minority representation is a lot better today than it has ever been. And there's a lot of places where it makes a lot of sense. Like Avatar The Last Airbender. That makes sense. It's based on culture where it's, it's clearly Asian. It's like kind of, I played Genshin Impact. Right? It's a, made by a Chinese company, MiHoYo. And a lot of their stuff is taken from Asia. They're, they're Asian themed, right? So they kind of just stick in their little niche. And, and it's a great game. I enjoy playing the game. FGO, you know, it, it's... It makes sense to me, right? But a lot of things Magic has done recently to promote diversity has just been kind of bizarre. I'll give you one example. Um, so the Suicide Squad um, game, uh, the, the shark apparently is a trans individual. They don't mention it in the game. They don't mention it. It's not necessary for the plot. It's not relevant at all. But they wanted to make sure you knew that. It's it's weird, right? It's just kind of weird. It's like what what what? Like I get it if it's like mentioned or central to the plot or even like a tiny bit like important to like understanding the character and character development. But the characters are never developed in these video games. They're incredibly bad video games. I actually bought the um the video game in question, and it's not good. The developers, the mechanics are not good. And that's how I feel about Magic the Gathering. For a long time, you probably couldn't... This company has existed since 2018. And it's probably like... You know... I think uh, the misinformation, right? Is pretty... Um, bizarre. And I think at the end of the day... Um, the people... Who are tweeting about this. Um, they're going to be found out. Because they have said some crazy stuff on Twitter. Twitter. As interesting as it is. Um, 
you know, Twitter is quite, quite interesting. Um, because it gives people the platform, it gives people a platform where they believe that they can say anything and there is no repercussion for that thing. Um, Twitter is also a really interesting place because just people say really crazy, really sexist, really racist stuff on Twitter all the time. Like, my advice would probably be like, hey, you should uh, avoid Twitter, right? Because there's nothing good that can happen. People get into arguments. They say things that they don't that they don't mean, and then suddenly you screenshot it, and everyone, everyone knows um, everything. So back to kind of um, a little bit of why this is so obvious and this is so relevant. Well, at the end of the day, um, we have individuals who. Are paid, and and this is a company that has had massive layoffs, yet they can somehow afford this consulting agency, which I'm positive is super expensive. I, I'm positive this agency is just like charging an arm and a leg, right? And when you have something like this, it is a no, it is an absolute disaster. Uh, it, it truly, truly is, right? Because now they're being absolutely decimated and anyone who's used them, there's actually an app which they tried to cancel culture away. There is a app where you can identify which games that this company has been part of. Uh, and, you know, for us as Magic players, we don't need an app. We just know that Magic the Gathering is this. So let's read some uh, things. Cope and Wake, and this is from the Lego Butts. Cope and Woke are generally words I have I have lost all understanding of, apparently, is what I'm learning also base. Generally can't tell you what that means either. Cope, a word introduced to young millennials and Zoomers. How about these words, right? I'm at work, but if you want something to do today, go help out at Molly Goes. Teach some kids about why blank isn't just a pile of tri uh, twigs. Blank. It starts with an F and ends with a T. You can kind of figure out what's going on. I mean, they're just, you guys are blank. Like some of this stuff this person has said is just hella uh, zy. N word is. A term just like white girl. Snowflake. This is the person making our game, guys. 